Well, with all of the cold air that's spreading all across the U.S., a popular buzzword yeah. is making a comeback. I don't even want to say it. Yeah. Polar vortex. Yeah, so, so everyone's going to use the term polar vortex, and we want you to be the one in the room that goes mm -hmm. what it is and what it isn't. So here at the Weather Channel, we are going to explain the dreaded PV so you can hear everybody in this edition of Brainstorm tell you what it is and what it isn't. The polar vortex is a massive circulation of Arctic air that in the winter can be as cold as 80 degrees below zero. That's as cold as the average temperature on Mars. The polar vortex is a huge circulation, constantly changing its shape like a giant amoeba and can span several thousand miles. Ordinarily, the polar vortex is tightly wound around the North Pole. That's because it's fenced in by the polar jet stream, a massive river of air high in the atmosphere that can measure 300 miles wide and whips along at up to 200 miles an hour. But when this jet stream weakens, the polar vortex can release bursts of Arctic air into the mid-latitudes. As a result, the Arctic air from the polar vortex can spill out across much of the U.S., even as far south as Florida resulting in temperatures 20 to 30 degrees below average. And when you factor in wind chill, in some places like Minneapolis, the Arctic air inside the polar vortex can make it feel colder than 40 below zero. And that's colder than the average January temperature at the summit of Mount Everest.